As you know, this week is Gear Week here at Homesteady. We are sharing the gear of the year. We've been sharing our top five products in different categories. We've covered homesteading, we've covered milking cows, and we've covered butchering. Today we're going to cover top five pieces of gear that help us raising chickens. And I have a very special guest with me today, the CEO of the Bluebird Egg Company, my son who is the chicken master here at our homestead in Pennsylvania. You ready to share your top favorite items with yep. uh, chicken raising? Yep. Well, let's dive in then. <laughs> yep. Nice sombrero. All right. Today we're gonna cover the five favorite items for egg laying chickens, specifically not necessarily meat birds, although these could also be good items to use if you have meat birds, um, but we're focusing on the egg layers for this top five list. As you know from our videos previous this week, these are all items that uh, we have owned and used for a long time. We wouldn't, we wouldn't recommend something that we didn't have experience with, and they are all items that have made our homesteading life easier, uh, better, because they are good quality products. So the top of the list, when we get chickens on the farm, bud, how do they arrive? As chicks. Right, usually we either order chicks from mail order hatcheries, or we hatch our own. What is the most important thing for chicks when they show up? Um, good heat, good water, good food. Right. So when thinking about good heat, item number one, my f this has been one of my favorite top five pieces of gear for raising chicks, is the Premier One Prima Heat Lamps. You may be familiar with the heat lamps that you see at like the big box stores. They have the little clip that you clip on and uh, they just, they're not great. They have very short cords, so you gotta run extension cords. They wind up getting really rusty. The light bulbs rust out and break. They're dangerous because they can get knocked over and cause barn fires. That's a real thing that happens. These Premier One Prima Heat Lamps changed the game for us when it came to heating our barns. The best thing about them is that they are very safe. They have this hard plastic cover to the heat lamp. So if it were to fall down onto the ground, that hard plastic would prevent a barn fire. It would keep the heat lamp from coming in contact with the bedding, it would keep it from breaking. Uh, it's easy to remove when it's time to replace your bulb and put a new bulb in there. But once you then screw it on, it's not going to be busted out. Awesome safety precaution, really good quality. Premier One, all their hard plastic stuff is great, durable quality. The housing is completely enclosed to prevent, there's no metal in there that's going to rust. It's enclosed in good hard plastic. There is a hanging hook so you can hang your lights safely from a chain or a rope or whatever you choose to hang your lights from, a hook. And the, one of the, my favorite parts about it is look at how long the cord is that comes with this thing. You grab one end of that. Watch how long this cord is. Good? Yeah. My son is way back there past the milk stanchion. Th that's awesome. You don't need an extension cord. They got that nice metal protector on the end so it doesn't get bent too hard and fray. They're just well designed, well thought out. Premier One stuff is awesome and that's why you're going to see like three or four of our items are Premier One products. We're not sponsored by them. We used to in the past. We're not anymore. We'd love to be again because their stuff is awesome. Uh, but the products I'm showing today, they're just great products and I know they'll make your homesteading life better. Shall we show them item number two? Yep. All right, grab your, grab your hat. So one thing I like about um, the big Premier Run red feeder that we have back there for the chickens, one thing I love that it comes with for outside is a rain hat so that rain doesn't get all your food messy. It has um, a nice space that you can just pop it on and you can easily take it off without any screws or attachments. Let's go see the feeder. It's on the chain now. So yeah, we'll, we can fix that. Yeah. I'll explain that. As you see right now, our Premier One feeder is hanging. <laughs> It's inside, we set it up a little bit different. But if you remember in the summertime, we're back at our old farm, we didn't keep the feeders inside. And that's why these rain hats were so nice. So imagine we're outside and then 
you hear about there's a huge storm coming and you just poured your last bag of feed and then you're going and then your feed store's like one hour away and you're never going to beat the storm and then you're like what what will I do so then Premier One has these rain hats that you can easily just pop on and the chickens can still get under there and get their food filled and all the rain just goes dripping down the sides so no no waste of money that's exactly that's exactly right you nailed it bud that's why we like this so much so you'll we actually had two rain hats there uh, you'll notice this nice big red feeder that we have here uh, it can hold a ton of feed almost well, I'll have the specific model linked below uh, but this thing holds two of these can hold almost a bag of feed completely and so I like to have two of those for the flock it's enough to service a flock of like 15 20 birds for more than a day which is always good I hate seeing feeders run out and like my son said you throw that rain hat on it if it's outside your feed keeps uh, awesome feeders awesome accessory with the rain hat we'll link below to that and the nice thing the chickens can't get make all the food unless you buy pooping in it from That's the top right. and they can't roost and they can only go down here to get their food another great point ready for item number three yep all right let's go to item number three sun's too bright sun's too bright Go now the next item on our list is for watering your chickens. It's Premier One's Nipple Drinker. I am a big fan of nipple waterers when it comes to chickens, especially if you're watering them inside. They cut down on the mess in the water. There's a lid that goes on top of this and it keeps the water from getting poop in it and just shavings and stuff. The bell waterers don't do that. Plus, the amount of water they can splash inside of your barn is much less and that cuts back on mess. So nipple waterers all around just cut back on mess, but often you'll find on cheap nipple waterers, these nipples, like you see right here, are located on the bottom of the bucket. And this is what inevitably what will happen when especially smaller people go to load the buckets with water. They walk over, they fill the bucket with water, and then they put it down because it's really heavy. On a bucket where the nipples were on the bottom of the bucket, when you set it down on the ground, you wind up cracking and breaking your nipples in your buckets. Nobody likes cracked, broken nipples. And that's why the Premier One Nipple Drinker is a proud sponsor of Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why Premier One's Nipple Drinker has the nipples recessed on the bottom. So when you set it down on the ground, the nipples don't get damaged. You take that loop, you hang it up inside your coop, and you've got nice, clean water, good working nipples that won't be broken, that won't leak. It works awesome. Uh, these waterers, they, people were thinking when they designed this stuff. Uh, so number three is the nipple drinker. Now, sadly, this time of year, winter time, I actually pulled this one out of storage because we're not using these nipple drinkers anymore. It's winter, we can't use these, but hold the phone. There's still an option for us. Let's go back in the barn. All right, so item number four, good for chickens and chicks. Item number four is our heated nipple water. The heated nipple water, so the heated nipple water can, um, has, a uh, insulated top so that it stores more heat and the nice thing since it has a lid all the chickens can't get it all messy and there's a heating element in the bottom from, that keeps the water from freezing hey Tom. thanks to the heating element even the nipples don't freeze Here I'm all drinking. <laughs> but one of the downsides to nipple water is that there was limited nipples. On this one, there's only four, and we have uh, maybe two dozen of chick chicks. So that makes it 
So then they're all pecking and fighting for the water a little, or boot. So what, that's one of the downsides to nipple water, and especially if you have a boot flock, then you gotta get more. That's one of the downsides to nipple waters. I never thought of that. That was a good job. That's a great point. I never really thought of that. As you can see, if you let the water run out, and then everyone's really thirsty, they're all fighting over nipples. So have enough nipple drinkers so that the flock doesn't have to fight or make sure they never run out of water. Uh, right now, that's a very small bucket for that amount of chicken. So we have to, actually, we're gonna be letting the bigger chickens out real soon because they're, they're playing big now. So that was item number four. The final item, the most important item for you to make your money, right? Yeah. Show us your, uh, your egg basket. The thing that um, is not fun is Say you, you don't have anything to carry. All you have is your pocket. So you stuff a nice clean dozen of eggs in your pockets. You're walking, you're walking, and then you feel something in your pocket. And they cracked. You keep walking and then you fall over. There goes all your eggs. Nice thing to have. An egg basket. They don't get all cracked up. Um, the, the holes aren't too big so that the eggs don't slide out. They're still able to crack if you fall. They're nice and they got the nice handle. You can get them from like Tractor Supply or other farm um, stores. And if you have egg laying chickens, this is a nice thing to have. We'll link below to my favorite model. So that's it! Our favorite gear for raising chickens. <laughs> Does your voice sound really funny in this thing? All right. As you know, with our gear videos this week, we'll have Amazon links below for anything you can purchase on Amazon. Some of the links below will not be Amazon links, but if you do use our Amazon links, you'll be helping to support this show and you won't be spending a penny extra. If you do any shopping, not even for these items, but you're going to Amazon, type in www.amsteady.com first. It will forward you on to Amazon. You'll be helping us to produce this daily show. We thank you so much for helping us to do this. And tomorrow we're going to be doing the last, last one. We've covered homesteading. We've covered the at-home butcher. What did mommy cover? Um, cows. She covered milking. And today we covered chickens. Tomorrow. What would you like us to cover? Do you want us to cover goats? Do you want us to cover dogs and dog training? Uh, homestead kids? Vote in the, in the comments below. Just tell us what your favorite one would be and we will do that one tomorrow. Some of you have asked about Ask Homesteady. Last week we uh, missed it just because it was a crazy week. Uh, today we're not gonna be doing it, or tomorrow we're not gonna be doing it because we're doing this special series. Don't worry, Ask Homesteady will be coming back the following week. Uh, but for this week, we just wanted to do five videos, five pieces of gear, so that we could help you make your homestead life a little easier next year. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Boy, that's a classic right there. Want to shut it down? If you like this idea, Gear of the Year, be sure to leave a comment below letting us know what topics you would like to see covered this week. And don't forget, if you do any of your shopping through www.amsteady.com, it'll bring you straight to Amazon, helping to support this show while not costing you a penny extra. You can click on this link right here to do that.